Hi, this is Kendall the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. By connecting displays to ESP development boards, there are lots of projects that you can do. There are several types of displays on the market. Among them, LCD displays with individual characters on a screen can be chosen, mostly because of their cheap price. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect LCD character displays to ESP IoT dev boards by using ESP Home and Home Assistant and then how to use them. Before going further, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done yet as it motivates me to upload more videos. Stay tuned. This is my character base LCD, pin number 1 to pin number 16. Let's start with describing the pins of our character base LCD display, beginning from 1 to 16. The first pin, which is VSS, is the ground pin. The ground pin of power supply or the ground pin of our development board must be connected to this pin. The second pin, VDD. 5 volt DC of power supply or 5 volt DC pin of development board must be connected to this pin. Have in mind that this device works with 5 volt DC. The third pin is VEE or V0 controls the contrast of the display. By connecting this pin to a potentiometer and then ground you can adjust the contrast of the display. Pin number four is RS pin, register select pin. This pin toggles among command or data register. Zero sets it to data mode and one sets it to command mode. Pin number five, RW pin is read or write control pin. This pin toggles the display among the read or write operation. Pin number 6 is enable pin. This pin should be held high to execute read and write process. Pin number 7 to 14 are data pins. And the last two pins, 15 and 16, are related to backlight of the display. 5 volt DC must be connected to anode pin by adding a potentiometer to pin number 15 you can adjust the brightness of backlight and ground must be connected to cathode pin of the display. Let's uh, start wiring the display and connect it to ESP development board. As I mentioned this display needs 5 volt DC to be used. This pin is 5 volt DC pin of my development board, I connected it to the red line of breadboard. And this pin is ground, I connected it to the blue line of breadboard. Connect the first pin of display to ground, second pin of the display. To 5 volt DC. In order to use the third pin, I connect it to ground by using a potentiometer, a 10k potentiometer. Potentiometer is a three terminal variable resistor. The resistor value between the two fixed terminals is fixed. The third terminal is connected to an adjustable wiper and the resistor value between the third terminal and each of the fixed terminals varies. I connect the third terminal of this potentiometer to pin number three and connect one of the fixed terminals to ground. By using this potentiometer, we can adjust the contrast. 
connect pin number 4 of display to GPIO 21 of development board. Connect pin number 5 to GPIO 22 of development board. Then connect pin number 6 to GPIO 23 of development board. This display has 8 pins as data pins. I use four of them. D0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I use D4 to D7 pins in order to connect the data pins to IoT development board. I connect D4 to GPIO 16 of development board. Then connect D5 to GPIO 17. Connect the third data pin, the second third data pin, let's say, D6 to GPIO 18. Connect the last data pin, D7, to GPIO 19. In order to use backlight of display, I use this potentiometer, 10K potentiometer. I connect the cathode pin to ground. Here, this green wire is connected to ground. Connect anode pin, LED plus, to the third terminal of potentiometer and connect one of the fixed pins of potentiometer to 5 volt DC. Wiring is done, let's head to Home Assistant to start programming our ESP development board. Our ESP development board is set up with ESP Home. If you do not know how to set it up with ESP Home in Home Assistant, you can find its tutorial in description. In Home Assistant, on the left panel, navigate to Settings, Open Add-ons, Open ESP Home, then click Open Web UI. My ESP32 is connected to power and is connected to my network wirelessly. Home Assistant shows it is online. Click Edit to open its YAML file in order to add display lines, lines related to display. Below Captive Portal, paste these lines. You can find the lines in description. The platform is LCD GPIO as we are using LCD character based LCD displays. Dimensions. Here you have to enter the dimensions of the display with this format. Mine is 16 by 2. Data pins. You have to enter the GPIO pins of your development board, the ones you have connected 
the second data pins of your display to them in this format. During the wiring, as I said, RS pin is connected to GPIO21, RW is connected to GPIO22, and enable pin is connected to GPIO23 of my ESP IoT dev board. Lambda is used for rendering the content of the display. This display has two rows. This line defines that in the first row, hello world, will be printed. This line defines that in the second row, this is Ali Reza, will be printed. This item specifies the column of the display where the prints should be started. And this item specifies the row. As you see, zero, the first row, one, the second. Everything is ready. Let's install edited YAM file on our development board. I click install. As my development board is connected to Home Assistant wirelessly, I select wires. Wait till installation completes. Installation is done. Hello world, this is Ali Reza is displayed. You can adjust the contrast by using this potentiometer. By using this potentiometer, you can adjust the brightness of back. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can also support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.